Now, it is that time of the year where I really have to do unboxing videos to really kind of fill in the gaps between my videos. And I've been trying to find fishable water, but right now, at least where I live in New Hampshire, we're kind of in that weird season where the ice isn't thick enough to ice fish and all the ponds are covered in like a small layer of ice so I can't open water fish. All that is frozen down there. Damn it. And I broke off the bill on the very first game. Bigger than my bait, at least. Oh, I got bit. Got him. On the uh, little Euro Tackle Z Viber. Get him quickly back down. So as you guys saw there, I did find about two, two and a half inches of ice. And actually, when I'm done filming this video, I'm actually going to go out and try to find some more safe ice. This is not just an ordinary unboxing. This is actually a limited edition Mega Bass giveaway as well. Let's actually just get that out of the way right now. This is a Mega Bass Deep X100 LBO. It's basically kind of like a crankbait that dives to about seven feet. This bait weighs three eighths of an ounce, so you can really get away with throwing this on a medium, medium heavy. Now this color is called GP Sunset Teaser. It's kind of to give a background on this color. This color actually began as a saltwater color, and I believe it was called Hachiro Reaction. I think it's called. Hold on. The thing is though, that color was for the salt water colors only. Now there were a lot of people catching sea bass on that color and Mega Bass was getting a lot of emails saying, hey, can you make Hachiro reaction into like a freshwater color? That is exactly what Mega Bass tried to do with this sunset teaser color. Now, full disclosure, I actually forgot to give this away last winter so that's why i'm giving it away immediately right now and i also have three more limited edition baits to give away after this one now because i actually forgot to give this bait away in my last unboxing video what i'm going to be doing is i'm going to be picking a comment from that video i believe it was in march of this year and i'm going to be picking a winner from there All right, so the winner of this bait is Matt Thoman. And I believe that name rings a bell as well. I think you won something last year as well. I don't really know. I don't really remember. But uh, you can hit me up on my Instagram, Nate Andersh, or hit me up by my email, nateandersh93 at gmail.com. But now let's move on to the unboxing here. As you guys can tell, a lot of purple packages, but we are not going to start off with the Max scent. We're going to start off with this Mega Bass Dark Sleeper, or Sleeper Gill, whatever. I was actually very surprised when I went to Bass Pro Shops and they had some of these in stock. I heard for a while these were really hard to get your hands on. The Sleeper Gill in three quarter of an ounce and the color is brownie. Now I heard some good things about this bait. I heard some bad things about this bait. I kind of just wanted to try it out for myself. Unfortunately, it just got kind of too late into the year and I didn't have a chance to throw it. But I'm a big fan of Mega Bass products. I really like the soft plastic that they use in their baits. It's really, really not durable at all, but I just think the action is unmatched. All right, now moving on to Berkeley Maxon. Berkeley Maxon is one of my favorite soft plastic companies, like hands down, it's not even close. You guys watched my tournament videos this year. You guys know I did very well on the Wacky Rigged General from Maxon. Now I just think there's something about the scent in this Maxon that drives fish crazy. I'm a huge believer in scent when it comes to smallmouth, but when it comes to largemouth, I really don't think scent plays a huge factor. It definitely does, but not as much as smallmouth. 
The first general color I picked up is Green Pumpkin. Picked up five of these packages. Actually, I just stuck my hand in the row and put it all into my basket. And uh, let's take one out of the package here. Maxent definitely has a dirty smell to it. This is what it looks like out of the package. Just a regular five inch Senko, I believe. Yep. My favorite way to rig these generals hands down is wacky rigging. Now that being said, these things are really good for something called a jig worm. It's, it's basically just kind of like a big version of the Ned rig. I'm just going to quickly go over what a jig worm is. You can actually rig a jig worm a couple ways. Now this is a fifth of an ounce Ned head from Eagle Claw or Trocar, whatever. But there's a couple ways you can rig this. Now, just the traditional way is with an exposed hook. You just kind of thread the worm up like that, kind of send it through. And it's that simple. Like a big full size Ned rig. This is just called a jig worm and it's been very popular up north for probably close to 100 years. Now what you also can do is you see the distance between the head of the bait and that keeper right there. You only want to go into the head of the bait that far. So maybe a quarter of an inch. Just like that. Bring it all the way down past that guard and then you just kind of feed it back through. And now you have a completely weedless jig worm as well. So that's all that I mean by a jig worm. It's nothing fancy, super simple lure. All you do is cast it out, drag it along the bottom. The next color I picked up is black and blue fleck. I had very good success on just plain black Maxent worms. I kind of wanted to try black and blue. I've heard great things about black and blue. Back, black and blue is just a color I don't necessarily use all the time. And the last color I got in the Maxent General is Baby Bass. Now this is actually the first time I've seen Bass Pro sell this color. I saw this color, it really jumped out to me for clear water smallmouth. I don't know why, but as soon as I saw this, I think just maybe the golden black fleck in it. Opinion, this bait really screams smallmouth in clear water. Just a really neat color. So moving on to one of my favorite baits of all time, the flatworm. Now this is the 3.6 inch flatworm. Berkeley Maxon actually has two sizes, the 3.6 and the 4.25. And the 4.25, in my opinion, is just a little bit better than the 3.6. But unfortunately, my best pro shops doesn't sell any flatworms in that four and a quarter size. So I had to settle for a couple packages of the 3.6, which is all right. I've still caught really nice fish on the flatworm. Now this color is Gobi. Again, one of my favorite colors. And Gobi is just a kind of a green pumpkin um, with purple, gold, and black fleck. But uh, this thing on a Ned rig, this thing on a drop shot, hammers the fish. Oh man, dude, that's so bad. Now that is it for today's unboxing. And like I said, I'm gonna be throwing in a little bit more unboxing just to kind of fill in the gaps between the videos, especially because I am just not a very good ice fisherman and I will skunk a few times this year. So uh, just to reiterate, Matt Thoman, you won this crankbait. And just to kind of give a little sneak peek, I have three more limited edition colors to give away as well. And it is super easy to enter these giveaways. All you have to do is be subscribed and leave a comment down below. And I just pick somebody random in the comments. I need to get out of here and start looking for some safe ice. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Peace.